I was speaking today with uh, Diana Carranza, who's the acting director at the VA Ileana Healthcare System. This is a very special day for the VA, isn't it? Yes, it is. You know, starting this journey four years ago, we never envisioned that it would take us this long to make this happen. But it's a beautiful day here in Danville, and it's a beautiful occasion for our, our veterans and our homeless veterans. How do you uh, find the homeless veterans who need these services? I'm sure with the hospital here, you get a lot of folks, but there are other veterans out there who need help as well that you may not have seen yet. So there are a couple of things that our staff do. First of all, we're out in the communities. We're working with our partners like Cross Point, um, all the services. Uh, you know, our services go from west of Lafayette to south of Kankakee to down to Mattoon area and west Lafayette. So we are basically providing services for our veterans in that whole central Illinois, eastern Illinois area. And so our staff are out in the communities and working with the community organizations to find out where our veterans are and what are the needs of our veterans. Yeah, in Danville, we tend to think of it as the Danville VA. We forget that you are taking care of a very large portion of the state and part of Indiana. Yes. And, you know, one of the things that we do best is reaching out to our veterans throughout our service area. We just had a veterans town hall in Springfield, Illinois, and 75 veterans were uh, there uh, to provide us with some input of the services that we provide and maybe the services that we don't provide that they are desiring. One of the things that was discussed today, one of the unique factors of this facility will be is that you can keep the families together, the families of the homeless vets, so they're not divided up among various social groups and shelters. That is one of the unique things. When the VA provides services, um, the spouse is not included except in some of the counseling opportunities, but when we provide any kind of housing, they're not included, and that's really a difficult a problem to address. You know, the the way the VA works is that uh, whatever services we provide are through congressional legislation. So we can't just decide tomorrow that, oh, we'd like to do this. It, it's something that Congress passes to us that allows us that rule, the rules and regulations of what veterans we can serve. So having this partnership with Mercy Housing allows us that opportunity to provide housing for that family unit. And that is the wonderful thing about this project. Will there be uh, medical personnel actually in that facility or will they just be real close by? We, we're, we're partnering with Mercy Housing that we're going to have social workers uh, included in, in the facility. We're going to have some offices there. That way they don't have to go all the way into the facility to find out what kind of services that we provide. We're also partnering with Danville Area Community College to provide educational uh, resources also. So this is really a community of, uh, event. It's a community effort and it really is is going to take a village or a community like this to really make this a success. Well, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.